Hey out there in Slot Car Land, how's everybody doing this fine Memorial Day weekend? Big right, big weekend of racing on TV. That's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. My butt's gonna be in front of the TV set watching. Uh, got taped the Monte Carlo Grand Prix because it's so early in the morning. But start out with the 500, watch the Monaco Grand Prix after that, and then catch up on the uh, catch up on the Cup race after that. So big day of in front of the TV set watching some great American motorsports. So. Today, we're going to do a couple of things. I have a look what the mailman brought. Got some cars in t uh, this uh, after the last episode, and just today, actually, for some reviews. These are in-package cars that I have purchased for review, and I'm even looking at some more on eBay um, for purchase. So I wanted it in this, uh, and then a couple of days, and then a couple other cars. So, hope you guys, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy that. Um, and then we're going to be doing a little track tour. I've had some requests from some of the newer members of the channel to do a layout, uh, tour of the layout. Hey, out there in Slot Car Land. How you got How'd that happen? All right. And then, uh, so another request for what track makes up my layout. So we're going to do that, too. And then after that, we're going to revisit the Mega G. The Me or actually, the Mega G Plus car. And we're going to see what we can get out of this car. As you know, when we did the review, we could only get it to a 494, and I didn't do anything on camera outside of that. That was just a pure stock chassis. Um, I've made up a set of BSRT tires. I bought, I've got some Mega G Plus tune-up kits. I took the rear end out of it, put some BSRT tires and wheels on it. And we're going to try that first with the NASCAR body on it, see what that does time-wise. And then we're going to go and put the the uh, Peugeot body on it that I bought and see if we can't get it any even faster than that. So let's uh, start with the look what the mailman brought. Get the camera down here. Like I said, these are package reviews. These are eBay buys. Um, some of the reviews I got, I've got five cars now in the line for review. Some you may know, like the Mega, the Mega uh, Megan Attraction car that we'll be doing a review on, and this this car you guys probably know too. So some of the cars you're going to see that we're going to review, you know, and we all love, and some of the cars you guys that we're going to be doing reviews of you may not have, or may not have even messed with at all. So kind of like the uh, like the the micro the micro uh, scale electric car we did last week. So this car you guys probably all know. I bought this one. I have one of these in the package, but I didn't really want to open it. So I bought this one. It's a Tomei Turbo. It's the uh, the 300Z Tomei Turbo car. And then the, what's the package date on these? 89 is the copyright date. So this could be from that year or it could be newer. It's a street series, so I'm not sure... When they came out with the Street Series, when they started doing that. Because my other one I have is this Nomad that's a, and this is a racing series, Tomei Turbo. And it's still got an 89 on it, so. But that's one of the cars for review. Which we, you know, most everybody might have. And this is not, it's a lighted body, but I don't think this is a lighted chassis. And this car is one that some people may not know. This is part of the whole lifelike Rocor Amrec family. As you can see, this is one of the reasons why I bought this car. You can see how uh, damage the package is it's not in the greatest shape package wise so it's not a disgrace to open this car but this is a MK2 sports MREC so we have a KM1 to do a review of and now we have a KM2 to read to do a review of and we have a Rocor M chassis to do a review of so we've got the whole lifelike Rocor MREC family going on here and those are cars I never had as a kid, so doing these is going to be kind of a, a neat uh, a neat review. And we've got the two different bodies. We got the Nissan body, and we now we have the um, uh, not Mira, but um, Matra body 
to uh, to to have with that as well. I'm I almost I'm trying to get the Porsche as well too. I love that Porsche body, especially the white one with the number five on it with the red and white or red and blue stripes down the side, or the two tone blue stripes, the dark blue and light blue stripes. I was I was was looking at one on eBay. And it was on Sunday, and I, I do the laundry on Sundays, and I was folding clothes, putting clothes away, and just kind of blitzed it, and uh, missed out on that bid. The car only, only went for $10.50, which kind of which kind of PO'd me a little bit there, because I was I really wanted that car. So, um, that's something that kind of upset me just a tad bit. Um, I'm looking at a couple other things I'm looking at, like I said. Um, I'm looking at another package car. I'm looking at a Tyco. It will be our first Tyco review, an HP2. One of the 917 Porsches is on eBay right now for sale um, in the package. Um, it's a, a green. I can show you guys a picture off of my off of my off of my watch list. And if you see this, the package on it's not in that great a shape either. But I'm keeping an eye on that one. It's still got a day to go or so. So, uh, But that'll be kind of a cool one. Those are the first cars I had as a kid. So that'll be kind of cool to uh, to do. And then uh, the other car I'm watching has two hours left on it. And it's a, it's a Tyco. It's also a Tyco, but it's out of the package. And it's whoop, it's uh, one of the Vets. And this is a, as you can see... This is a strict 440 chassis, which I do not have. I have 44X2s, but I don't have a 440 chassis. So it's another chassis for the um, What's Your Chassis segment for the show and on Facebook. Don't forget about the, the like group um, on Facebook, the, the slot car group, slot car crazy on Facebook. We're up to 81 members already, and I just started that not that long ago. So we're really kicking it. People are con con contributing, and we're getting a whole lot of pictures on there. Um, we still don't have a lot of uh, layouts on there, so if you guys uh, who are on that in that group already, uh, post your pictures of your layout so we can add it to the members album. Um, we've only got a couple of people that have posted up, so that's something you know. If you guys want to post them up, and I'll put them in that album so people, other people, can look at all the racetracks. So let's take a, let's take a little track tour. Couple of new members asked for a, a track tour. A lot of other you guys have seen the, the track and the layout. So we'll start here on the front straight away. And we'll even we'll even uh where's the first box? We'll even turn the lights on. I'm uh, working on another set, as you guys know, I still have two sets of those left. And I'm working on an idea for the hotel area here. And for underneath here, and possibly the gas station. I don't know if I'm going to have enough lights to do that. But we're going to light, I want to light the pool. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it with the camera, but we'll give it a shot here. As you can see, if you can see, there's two people now in the pool. And you really can't see them. So I'm thinking if I could put pool lights on each side of the pool and light it up, you're going to be able to see the swimmers in there. And then we can like put lights here in the bar. Uh, the, the pool bar inside the hotel. Um, I kind of want to light uh, these insets up a little bit, make them light up a little bit, and then underneath the awning here as well, make it look all ritzy and, and really cool there. So, um, so we come down. This is this is the last turn and the biggest turn on the track. And we'll just take a take a kind of a slow walk down the racetrack here for everybody to look at. Front straightaway, pit road. Um, as you can see, it is a street circuit. Our our main buildings here, somehow that one's been, oh, the kids have been down here playing again and kind of messing some things up here. Turn one, our big building up there with our gal on her balcony watching the race in action. The harbor. As you can see we got a lot of lot of this work to do in through here and stuff. There's some other things I'm trying to figure out to try to where I'm not going to have to do so much cobblestone work. Some areas like some seating areas, some maybe some up raised up platform areas. I want to put like a platform right here where the six wheeler hot wheel is sitting right there 
kind of make a little stage right there because there's a Christmas tree, a, a lighty Christmas tree I bought. If you guys saw the, the one I decorated for Christmas, I put right there. And I want to put a stage there to put the tree on this year, and that'll take up some of the cobblestone. Ooh, excuse me. Some of the cobblestone work that I'll have to do. We won't have to lay as much cobble down. One of the one of the grandstands going up the back straight away here. First of the hairpins. Why are you out? You need to be back there. One of the eating areas and the overlooked looking down. Down the straightaway here. Of course, we got the hotel. The other hairpin coming down the hill. Underneath the timing system, underneath the Goodyear Bridge, past the pubs. And around the last corner, and that's, that's a shot of the layout. Victory Circle, trailers, gas station, fire station, tire corral, everything. So, to start with the racetrack, we're going to start with the outside lane. And we'll talk about what makes up the racetrack. Now, as you know, the track's made with uh, AFX, Tomei AFX track. The, the whole front straightaway are 15 inch straights starting out of the last corner here. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's eight 15 inch straights. The inside lane is also eight, fi eight 15 inch straights. So corner number one on the outside is made up of two nine inch corners. And the inside is made up of four, four, in uh, four six inch corners. And then the next straightaway are two nine inch straights. And then we come to the to corner two. The inside is a nine inch corner this time, and the outside is two six inch corners. And then we've got a three inch straightaway, two three inch straightaways actually on the inside outside, and then a fifteen inch straight with a nine inch straight. And then we come into corner three, and this is where the track separates for the first time, and we've got a nine inch on the outside. And two 12 inch corners on the inside. And then you come out of this and you head up the back straightaway. Now, the back straightaway, we'll talk about the outside lane first because they're kind of offset a little bit. We've got two 9 inch straights, a 6 inch straight, and then one, two, three, four, four 15s, a 9, and then a 6 into this straightaway into the end of the end of the first hairpin now the inside back straightaway is made up of two nine inch corners or two nine inch straights excuse me one two three four again on the 15s and then a nine and then of course then you have the hairpin piece of track on the inside and then the outside has the four six inch corners <coughs> Then the outside lane starts with a uh, a six inch straight into a nine inch, and then one two fifteens and a nine and a six, and then the inside is a nine coming off of the hairpin piece, two fifteens, a nine and a six, and then. We come into this corner after the hairpin. This is the inside lane now. And it's got a 9 inch corner on the outside with two 6 inch corners on the inside. And then the straightaway going into the next hairpin has two 9s. And then there's another 9 with a 6. And then you have the hairpin on the outside. And we have a nine inch corner or a nine inch, or a three inch straight, excuse me, a three inch straight with the four six inch corners on the outside with a six inch, two six inches coming out. And then we're into this little sequence here where we have the, the second split where the outside has the two six inch corners and the inside has the two, um, I believe these are nines. And then out of that, by the casino, the downhill portion, those are two 15s, both inside and outside. 
And then we have this complex, which is, I think this is a 9 inch with a 6 inch with two 3 inch straights with a 9, or is that a 12? I think this is actually a 12 inch corner and a 9 inch corner. And then under the straightaway, we got two 9 inch straights with two 15 inch straights. And then you're into the last corner on the racetrack, which the inside does a 9, and the outside is doing the 12 inch corner. So that's what the track's made up of. All the way around, and if you guys have any issues with that, um, I'll try and post, if you guys are members of the group page, I'll try and post a, a lengthy uh, description on there as to the... Um, extent of the track and what makes it up um, it's kind of hard to do that post on on a, somebody commented on Facebook about it and I tried to return the comment and I'm like, this is just gonna be too wordy to figure out so I might be might try and do a diagram draw out a diagram and take a picture of it and post it on the on the group page and then give a description there too so that'll kind of help you guys so I'm gonna put the camera on pause and we are going to do the first part of our um, of our making the Mega G Plus faster. So let me get the camera set up. All right, now we got everything set up. Remember, in stock form, we did a 494 with the Mega G. So what we're going to do first is I've swapped out the stock rear end and I've put in the BSRT rear end and I've got the BSRT wheel and tire set on. And we're going to run the stock car body first, and we'll see what times we can get there. And then we will try the Peugeot body and see what we get there. Now, you know, what I'm trying to do for you guys here is to show you what you can do with this car without having to change the, the stock traction magnets. If you guys run a stock class but you're allowed to change your rear tires and wheels that's kind of what this is aimed at so let's uh let's take it for a spin here and see what we get Right there, we're already into the four fours, and it seems to handle a lot better. I can push it more. These tires and wheels are slightly lower than stock, and that just slight little little bit makes the difference with this car. Oh, spun it out makes a big difference with this car, believe it or not. It gets those traction magnets just that much closer to the racetrack. You can hear I'm out in a couple of spots here. So four or five. Whoop, I spun out. So as you can see, we're consistently in the four fives, four four range. With the, with the car with just the stock body on it, with the stock body it came with, that we still need to paint, by the way. But four, six, four, three. There's fat flap, four, three, nine. Four flat, four, four flat. Oh, and we're out of the ballpark. He's out of here. Oh, pop the body off of it, too. So, that's quite a bit. That's an that's a improvement there from a 4.9 4 to a 4.4 to a 4.40. That's 5 tenths right there. There's a 437, so even faster yet. Alright, so let's 
bring it up here. Oh, there's a wall there. All right, let's change. Let's put the Peugeot on it. And uh, just to give you guys a little hint on this Peugeot, if you guys have, I know you can buy this car in the Jeep Mega Jeep Plus with the Peugeot body on it. But if you buy, um, if you buy, like say you buy a Mega G, a regular Mega G Peugeot, this is my son's that he bought when we were in, when we were in Spokane. And you try and, and go it over here, you're going to have an issue. I had to um, jury rig mine a little bit. When you put it on, as you can see, you got a little pop-up right here. And it's not even... It's not even even. What's going on here? It's causing something. But you can see how how high up in the air the front of that car is. And what it is is there's two little see those two little bumps right here on the body. They're hitting the circuit board on the chassis. So you gotta kinda you gotta go in and shave those off. Which I did. And now, as you can see, put the body back on our back on my sons. And I got it to, to ride the same height and sit exactly the same way that this car does on the Mega G Plus chassis. So you got to do a little confabbing if you buy this by, like if you buy one of these blank ones like I did from HORacing.com. You got to do a little modification to it to get by that, to get by that, that, uh, that circuit board that's in there. So let's bring it down here. We'll get this back over here. Clean the tires up. And we'll see what we can get now. So we're at a four... A 437, I believe, is a fast lap with the NASCAR body. So let's just just tinker with it here and see how much a lower body makes a difference. See there, we've picked up two tenths. That's a four one two. So well, you know you're you're continuously lowering the center of gravity. Gosh dang it! So, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to push this car into the threes like we did with the Mega G Plus car. And that's also just a tad bit different dynamic. That's a short chassis. There's a four flat. That's a short chassis Mega G, where this is a long chassis Mega G Plus car. Oh, and we're on our roof. So as you can see, you can make an improvement. You can whoop, make these cars faster. Takes a little tinkering. Takes some parts. But if you want to, if you run cars in the stock form, we may down the road buy another one of these and we'll do a full blown pop up with traction magnets to see what that actually does. I've seen like a, what is that Willow Creek Springs do it on one of their cars and see what they 
what they come up with what they have come up with with their car doing that same thing and um, Gil when we were at the fray he had a, a hooked up Mega G Mega G plus car with a with a NASCAR body there's a 4 404 that was really quick but his was also waiting where we're not another 40 can't quite get to the threes though. But You can't, ooh, you can't really do it consistently, but you get that magical lap, you can get into the threes. Dang! That was going to be a good lap, too. So a three nine eight. So that's quite an improvement from a four nine four that we had. So I like that improvement. I, granted, you had to go to a lower body and uh, throw some BSRT tires at the car, but you, it is possible. And we we even made the stock car body faster, and it, it helped with the handling on the car. Get my son's Mega G plug, Mega G here, and we'll, as this body will fit it. But as you can see, there's your height, your height advantage by going to the Peugeot body from the stock car body. So there's where you're getting your lower and you're getting your tires. But we've made the stock car body faster too. And on an oval, I mean, on the outside lane, that might really help you stick that car down by putting them BSR. If you can, if your group will let you change the rear wheels and tires on that car. So, let me um, let me uh, put the camera on pause. We'll go back over to the table, and we'll talk a couple of things right here at the end of the show. So, hold on. All right. Back here at the table. Um, just want to talk about a couple of things. We still have some unclaimed prizes from the, the, the one-year anniversary show. Uh, Thumping Chevy, you still haven't claimed your your uh, Corvette decals. Randall Zook, you still and I still got the cars left. I've got this one for Randall Zook. I got this one for M Rice, and I've got this one for Squeaks the Cat. So, if you know these people, you you recognize you recognize those names and whatnot. Let them know. That's how um, we finally got the BSRT wheel and tires finally got claimed. Somebody knew the person that it was, and they they said, Hey, you've got prizes for slot car crazy. Get in contact with Troy, and he'll get them to you, and all that stuff. So if you guys know these guys, let them know. I've got three cars in this decal set to get rid of. Um, if, if we don't get them claimed within the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to just kind of keep them, and we'll do another drawing down the road maybe when we were two subscribers away from 200 which is just mind-blowing um i love all this i love talking to you guys i love hearing that i'm inspiring you guys that's one of the reasons why i'm doing this this little thing it's to help me stay in the hobby myself it's to help maybe get people that used to be in it back in it and get new people in it and tell them hey slot cars are still out there they're still fun there's still plenty to get on ebay that you don't really have to pay an arm and a leg for if you want to buy some runners. They're really, you know, you can get them pretty cheap if you buy the right ones at the right time. So, you know, I've, I've had a couple people comment on videos saying, hey, you're one of the reasons why I got back into the hobby. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this is to promote my hobby. I love this hobby. I love the people in this hobby. I love how generous we are and how, how we'll help people out. 
if you need parts or something and somebody needs something and you guys can get it to, you know, say, hey, I've got that. If you want it, you know, it's yours or I'll only take this or a trade or whatever. It's just, it's a great hobby with great people in it. And I'm glad to be part of this hobby. I'm glad to be doing this for you guys. It's fun for me. Um, it's fun, you know, play, I get to play with my cars on the track and show you guys and stuff. And it's just all kinds of fun. So I hope you guys have a great two weeks. Um, we're probably going to do a review in the next episode. I'm not sure what car yet. My son's really bugging me to do that Magna Traction review because I told him he's going to have, he gets that car one after the review's done. So we might be doing that. Um, or we might be doing one of the other reviews. We've got, I've got so much stuff to choose from right now. It's just hard to pick what I want to do. So, uh, hope you guys have a great two weeks. It, I'll, uh, make sure you guys become members of Slot Car Crazy on Facebook. Um, I'll post what the next episode will be there. And I hope you guys have fun. Keep racing slot cars. Keep being safe this Memorial Day weekend. And let's watch some racing tomorrow. And we'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye.